So today's MSA topic of discussion is should students uh, re be required to wear uniforms? So it doesn't necessarily have to apply to private school only. It could apply to public school. So let's talk about what you guys think. Sally, go ahead first. Um, I'll say no for that because um, the first reason is that if we wear school uniforms, we don't have any freedom of wearing different types of clothes. When we, when we have choices and wear different types of clothes, we can be unique and express who we are through what we wear. Also, we can compliment and talk about each other's clothes. By doing so, we can feel good. But, I mean, but if we wear school uniforms, we won't be able to talk about it. My second reason is that we'll get bored of wearing school uniforms. It'll become repetitive, like we're <coughs> eating the same food every day. And it might get dirty easy. If your parents or guardians don't have enough time to help you with laundry, you might need to wear that same dirty clothes again. Okay, so she's saying that students shouldn't be required to wear uniforms. So what do you think, Andy? I disagree because if students can wear anything they want, they can wear something inappropriate. Some days, there, some clothes are too graphic so that they can badly influence other other people around them. Second reason is certain students would want to focus more on their outer appearance than their education. As students, their main priority is to do well in school. The students who focus on their appearance too much will get distracted and they will also distract people around them. Okay, so, so far we have no, yes, what do you think, Peter? Uh, I disagree of the Andy's opinion. Okay. If students wear the same uniform all the times, they will lose their creativity. If they don't wear uniforms, they can rely on their creativity to match what they are going to wear. My second reason is if students are required to wear uniforms, their parents have to spend money to buy those uniforms. Even if some students who are poor, they already have clothes to <coughs> school. But if wearing uniform become mandatory, spending extra money become, become unnecessary. Okay. So, so far we have two students who are saying that students shouldn't be required to wear uniforms and we have one student who um, agrees saying uh, students should be required to wear uniforms. So, do you have anything to say against that? It will be difficult for poor students to buy many clothes to wear different differently every day. By having students wear uniforms, the poor students would not have to worry about buying many clothes. If poor students wear their outfits multiple times a week, there can be subject of bullying and they may lose friends. And other and students may call them dirty to those four students who doesn't have a lot of clothes. Okay, so um, we have a conflict of agreement. So he, you're saying that um, if student, students already have some clothes, so if they're required to buy uniforms, they have to spend extra money. But what he's saying that um, some students don't have enough clothes, so if they don't change clothes regularly, um, students could become a subject of bullying wearing same clothes over and over again. So by having uniforms, that eliminates the possibility of being picked on. Okay? What do you think, Sally? Um, my other reason is that school uniforms are very expensive. So some of the students might not have enough money to buy one. In poor countries, people don't have enough money to buy school uniforms. It will, it will cost a lot of money 
for students who can't afford to buy one. And my other reason is that critics argue that different types of clothes feel comfortable different to different person. Um, student needs comfort for studying. Um, uniforms are made special for every different student, so some of the students might feel uncomfortable. Okay. So she pointed out a really good thing. There's only set um, different sizes for students, so trying to have um, small, medium, large applies to every single student, so it would be difficult for certain students who are too skinny, maybe the clothes become loose. Students who are um, very, <laughs> fairly large, it would be hard for them to fit into constricted size. Okay? What do you think? Wearing uniform will make the school look neat and organized. When a place of education appears dressed made and organized, it will provide better studying environment uh, for students. Students will be less distracted and have easier time focusing on their work. Students who wear a uniform may feel like they are part of something important because wearing the same clothes like firefighters and policemen will provide the unity in the group. Okay. So <clears throat> you mentioned about creativity, right? Students have choice in the matter of wearing what clothes they want, um, whereas you mentioned distraction in a classroom. So if students are allowed to wear anything they want, there will be obviously a lot of colors in the classroom. So sometimes it could spark creati creativity within students, but also it could create uh, cause distraction. My, um, another reason is when the students are required to wear a uniform, it will become harder for them to play freely during recess. Uh, also, the uniform will get dirty easily, so the par they, if it means they have to buy two or three more uniforms, and that is stress on parents who have little money. And my another reason is if students wear the same uniforms, there are more chances of, of more bullying. There are many different makers of uniforms, even though they may look similar, but the quality of uniform is different. Who, the students who have lots of money will get good quality, and the students who don't have money will get poor quality. Because the, they may look similar, the students will easily tell who is wearing good quality and who is not. And someone will make lots of friends and some will not. Okay. So obviously there's not just one um, manufacturer or the factory that makes uniforms. There are several. Um, so obviously some companies will make nicer ones which comes with a higher price tag, and some will make a less inferior ones. Um, so students who wear nice quality ones, obviously other students could tell uh, the person or the students have money or they're wealthy, whereas other students who have, who's wearing cheap uniforms may um, portray themselves as a, someone who doesn't have enough money. And that usually could lead to uh, bullying sometimes. That's a good point. Andy? Wearing uniform can prepare students for life after education. Many workplaces require their employees to dress professionally, like wearing a suit. If students are adopted to wearing uniform, it will be easier for them to follow the dress code in the future. While on a field trip, if all of the students are wearing uniforms, it will be easier for the teachers and the chaperones to identify the students from the large crowd. Having students wear uniforms will be safer for the school to go on a field trip. Okay. So, 
Um, when you guys grow up, when you guys are done with college and maybe um, graduate school, you probably will find a job, right? And many places, especially if you work in the office, um, they will have a dress code. So dress code is like a policy that company sets as far as what clothes could be worn and what can't be worn. So by having those restrictions, if you are adapted to, as a student, adapted to wearing certain uh, clothes based on the restriction, such as you have to wear uniforms, and you follow that through the college, and well, college, most likely you won't have to wear a uniform, but by having that adaptation of living through um, dress code, you could, you could, um, have, you won't have much problem going to work for, for workforce and we're, um, having to follow the policy, dress code policy. Sally. Um, my other reason is that in the rare event <coughs> of an emergency, such as a major disaster, identification of students by their parents could be hard if all of the children are wearing the same exact clothes. And my last reason is that students who wear school uniforms usually attend private schools, but students who attend public school usually attend public schools. But students who don't wear school uniform usually attend public schools. So this means students who attend private school might brag about their wealth to the students who attend public school. We can eliminate this possibility by stopping the uni uniform wearing policy. Okay, so we have a really good point, um, both brought by Andy and Sally, about wearing uniform in a larger area or public space. You mentioned that when school goes on to field trip, it's easier for school um, affiliate teachers or chaperones to identify each student uh, in a large, larger crowd, um, public. Whereas, in the event of emergency, where parents would like to pick their students up personally, it will be harder for them to identify individual students among all the students who's wearing same clothes. So, um, that was really good points there. Um, everyone, I know that you guys studied hard, uh, researched hard on this one, and yeah, we don't have a set. Yes or uh, no, no answer. This is all opinionated uh, debate. So no one's right, no one's wrong. Yeah. So good job, guys.